the United States flexing its military muscle over the Korean peninsula after yet another North Korean missile test. Video filmed by the U.S. Air Force show B-1 bombers conducting exercises with South Korean and Japanese planes. The maneuver comes after Pyongyang celebrated the country's second intercontinental ballistic missile test in a month and boasting the entire U.S. was now within striking range of its weaponry. The latest missile launch drew praise from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, who said through state media the test clearly proved the whole U.S. mainland is in firing range. Japanese news cameras purportedly captured the missile crashing into the ocean, but experts confirm if it were aimed at a lower trajectory, it could have reached Los Angeles, Chicago, and even New York. In response, U.S. and South Korean forces staged joint live fire exercises, and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson condemned the launch, saying we will never accept a nuclear-armed North Korea. I think when we say we don't accept it, what we really mean is that we're in a state of denial. Jeffrey Lewis is a nuclear policy expert at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies. You may see that that language changes and we move away from talking about denuclearization toward steps to try to reduce tension on the peninsula. North Korea's missile test earlier this month put the Hawaiian Islands in range. Because of our proximity, we are 20 minutes away from destruction. State Representative Gene Ward wants to reopen military bunkers hidden deep inside Diamond Head to temporarily run Hawaii's government amid a nuclear attack. The tunnels were built more than 100 years ago for ammunition storage, says Lieutenant Colonel Charles Anthony with the National Guard. So this was never designed to house a lot of people for any period of time? No, it was designed to withstand an artillery barrage and also to unleash an artillery barrage in the opposite direction. So far, Hawaii is the first state to issue an official emergency plan for a North Korean launch. Remembering the last attack here, no one wants to be caught off guard. We had no preparation for Pearl Harbor. This one, we've had a slow burn. If we are sleeping now, when we have a clear and present danger, we are negligent.